Hi, Joanne from Joanne's Doggy Schmacks, and we are approaching Valentine's Day. And in my life, my favorite Valentines are my dogs, Jake and Tori. And I thought, let me make something special for them. So A, we're gonna start with a heart-shaped cookie cutter. B, we're gonna make them gluten-free. And they're going to be made with almond flour and quinoa flour and a bunch of other specialty flours. And this is the best of all, organic, natural food dye made from dried beets. This is a company I just discovered, Suncor, and they have like 14 different colors. You don't have to mix. All natural, you don't have to be afraid that you're poisoning your dog with artificial color. And that's what it looks like, look at that. So we'll add this down the line. But right now, let's start with the quinoa flour. Quinoa flour has a very nutty taste and it really packs a punch without a lot of carbs. So this is one and a half cups. And to this, we're going to add the exquisite almond flour. And that is one cup. We're adding a bunch of protein when we do this and fiber. Put this over here. Tapioca flour, you've heard me discuss this before. Tapioca flour is what I just put in there. Oops. This is the tapioca flour. This is, um, <laughs> my almond flour. Sorry about that. <laughs> I could tell by the color. Look, almond, almond flour, tapioca flour. And the tapioca flour is actually three quarters of a cup. It's the earrings. It's clouded my vision. Anyway, what's, ah, all right, this is not a good start. Anyway, buckwheat flour is next. <laughs> and the buckwheat flour is a quarter cup. And we like that for digestion, right, Jake? My taster is right here on the floor. Um, he's like, Mom, just slow down. Pay attention. These are for me for Valentine's Day. Okay, so we have that. Then my favorite, nutritional yeast. You can't lose. If you put nutritional yeast in your treats, your dogs guarantee will like them. Tastes like cheese, and it's good for them. Uh, you're going to be like, that's got to be it, right? Nope, more. We have oats. And the oats are a half a cup and they're one minute oats. We're going to throw that in there. And you can tell we're going to be making a lot of hearts here. This is a huge bunch of flowers. We're going to whisk it up. What do you think, Jake? I'm saving the best for last. We're going to put that in once we get this together. Smells like cheese. And here we go. Look at this magnificent powder. You can see it wafting everywhere. It's really fun to watch them come out of the oven. We get an oof. I'm tasting beets. That's crazy. Whoa. <laughs> Good thing I like beets. There's, there's some built-in sweetness right there. Wow. Okay, so our next thing that we're adding is a cup of water. If you had chicken stock, you could add chicken stock. I gave mine to a friend who was sick. So we're just gonna use water. The flu's going around right now. We're gonna mix this up a little bit and then the only thing that we have to add is egg. And you might be wondering about Valentine's Day and how it came to be. And I did a little bit of research and I found out that it started out as this Roman Bacchanal. It was pretty gnarly and kind of embarrassing as the centuries went by. And then a man or a priest named Saint Valentine was martyred on February 14th. So that date was kind of appropriated for his martyrdom. And then Chaucer came along and he noticed that February was when birds started choosing their mates. And he used that uh, in a poem. We're adding an egg. 
and that was the beginning of people noticing that uh, February 14th was a good time to write le love letters and flowers to potential mates. Shakespeare picked up on it in the Renaissance, England picked up on Shakespeare, and now it's a $20 billion industry. Okay, so let's see how we can contribute to that $20 billion industry. <laughs> I remember when I put this together that I thought this is never gonna form into a dough. Oh, and I just realized I forgot my chia seeds. I only, this is like, just sprinkle them in for energy. Throw that in there. I think I'm gonna dump this on the board. <laughs> Some of my chia seeds are on the floor. Jake is having a field day. They're pretty small, but he's finding them. Don't inhale them, little man. All right, here we go. Let's get this down here. Put that over there. All right. If this doesn't come together, we'll add more water. But look at that. Beautiful. Kind of looks like a volcano right now. Let's just scoop that in there. Well, this is not the prettiest thing, but it doesn't stain. So that's a good thing. And you can see that I'm using my board. I checked that out too. It doesn't stain wood either. Okay, uh, let's see what this looks like. That's a lot of dough. And I am gonna sprinkle a little quinoa on the top because you can see it's sticking to my hands a little bit, which means it's gonna stick to the rolling pin. So let's do this, move this. Okay, cross your fingers. Here we go. Lovely, move that. Okay, we're, we're doing all right. I, I see that there's a bit of a crack there, but that's uh, not irreparable. Just smash it down a little bit. <laughs> Here we go. And this dough does make very uniform, very pretty little hearts, you have to trust me. Once the dough cooperates. Okay, just a little more quinoa flour here. And then we'll start cutting out some hearts. Just move that around. I don't know if the camera picks up the sparkle, but there is definitely like an incandescence to it. Okay, let's move this out of the way. I wish I had a bigger heart right now, but here we go. It's one. Look at how pretty that is. I'm not gonna hold it up in my hands, but perfect. Dough doesn't look so great, but the hearts look perfect and they're healthy. And your dogs are gonna love them. Do you want me to keep cutting some or should we just like maybe cut and come back and I'll show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. Okay, we'll do that. And we're back. I've got my taste testers with me and I just want to let you know how long I cooked these for. It was at 350 degrees preheated oven, of course, for 10 minutes and then I flipped uh, each one of these. There's approximately 60. Oh, little man. <laughs> <laughs> and then I cook them for 10 minutes more and you can tell I have some very eager pups here waiting to taste. So Tori's a little bit small and she can't put her feet up on the counter so I'm going to come over here with the kids and see what they think. And they are cool enough that they can have a little treat. And Jake, you've learned something new. We'll see if you can do it. Come on over here. Oh, right there, that's sit pretty. Look at that sit pretty. Tori, I'm not gonna ask you to do that, little mama. May I have your paw? Thank you, my polite girl. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, he loves doing the sit pretty. <laughs> Over here. There you go, good boy, good girl. It's a success. You like your Valentines? They love them. Uh, gluten-free specialty flour valentine hearts for your pups um, hope you enjoyed this episode don't forget to subscribe don't forget to say you like me like us 
um, and I'll see you next episode.